Hi guys, welcome back to some more Hearthstone Battlegrounds. After the um, game I just had, which was literally for the worst hero choice you could possibly have, and um, I was the only Murloc player actually in the lobby, surprisingly, which normally there's like at least three or four. Um, but I was the only Murloc player, but it took so fucking long to actually find um, the tier one Murloc. And then I didn't, I didn't even, I got to tier 4 and died. I didn't even get to tier 5. Just, I couldn't find Murlocs. I didn't see any Tads, I didn't see any Primal Fins. I didn't see anything to help me find other guards. Yet there was only, I was the only Murloc player in the lobby. Made no sense. And I didn't see any Murlocs in anyone else's decks either. But the RNG were just complete dog shit. I just got, got basically given an RNG loss. Okay. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. Good. Which means now I haven't got to wait fucking for ages. Last time I got to like, I think six or seven gold before I found the Swamp Striker. It's like, what? What is this bullshit RNG? And this time I've actually got a good hero. I actually do like this guy. This guy's pretty good. Played once before and I had some remarkable luck with this with his ability. I did where I think I went to tier five. And I saw a Bran and he gave me another Bran. So I got two Brans straight away. You know, the stats on that one. Luckily, it lost still. Lord of health. About health to Pyramid before, though, to be fair. But looks like he's good Murlocs, though. Which is bad. It's not what I wanted to see. Obviously, he's playing no locks. So the difference is this time, though, I've got a lobby with, again, so there's three Murloc players, as I said, usually between three and four. So I include myself as three. There's the guy playing Flurgle and then Pyramid, also both playing Murlocs. So now I'm going to be competing with them for Murlocs, which is the problem. Which could lead to some, me not finding certain cards that I need. I played against a fucking dragon guy as well in the previous game and it felt like playing fucking Yu-Gi-Oh against one of those bloody like chain decks where you've got to wait like 10 minutes to take your turn sort of thing and uh, he literally had three of the tier 1 whelp things on the side I think one was golden and two normals and then he had the other new dragon they brought in that like has a multi fucking breath attack that hits three cards and they all did the breath attacks once, then they did them all again, then he did his card. By the time they were finished, I had like two cards off in the field. So what the fuck is going on here? It's like, can I take my turn at some point? You know, I'm just down to one card only. I 
could need one for later on, put one in there. Bingo, just the card that I wanted. I found a tad and the tad came through. Bore that while I've got a chance because I can save it for a big ergle later on. <laughs> Always good to have at least one taunt on your field, ideally. Dragon decks. Rain as fuck. I feel like they've been buffed or something lately. Ooh, I can get a triple, he's not wrong. And I can also get both of these. I can buy both of them. <laughs> Tell mad is going to be mad. Strange that my most played game ever was World of Warcraft. So I played it for like 12 years. And I played it since, well, I got it about a month after release of the, the original game. Um, and then I, there were obviously like four years I missed. I missed the uh, last year of WOD, all of Legion, and the um, first year of um, BFA. But my second most played game, which is Total War Warhammer series, or in this case Total War, War uh, Total War series, but Total War Warhammer uh, one and two, and then now going into three, and three I'm going to be playing for fucking years. So when they're finally done with it all and they've got it, the lot of the bug free and stuff, that's all I'm looking forward to. Oh my god, it could be two more again, are you kidding me? Right. So I don't want to triple it. Oh. Uh. Shit, shouldn't have done that. I even think, I just did it. Impulse. Fuck it, freeze it. And I wonder with this as well, when it's like, it copies it, so it creates an extra copy, but obviously I'm guessing that doesn't stay in the tavern for everyone else, it's just there for me. Because obviously it can't just pull an extra one out of the tavern that it's got, because what if people have got them in their decks, because there's only so many. So it just creates like a magical copy, <laughs> just really, and it's always kind of busted. That's when you get that.
it's really like, really like a lot of battle cry cards on your field <laughs> until you can find the cards you actually want. Well, Flogel's almost dead. He's not lost any health since, so he might have maybe got quite a solid hand at the moment. But Flogel's down to single figure health. Which is weird, because after you sell two minions at a random Murloc to Bob's Tavern, he, he should find Murlocs easier than either of us, because his, his hero power actually helps him. It's like in one of the previous games, I saw someone playing Azara and they were playing Demons, not playing Naga, and Naga were in the game as well. It's like a hero power helps you find Naga. Why would you play Demons? I'm not person I haven't lost any health yet, and not even their armor. Mm -hmm. That was a fucking thing, that thing. Whenever this attack deal three damage to the target to the target and its neighbours. Right. Oh, he killed my big one. Fuck me. Of course they did. Of course I got fucking liberated by that bastard thing. I might lose this one. Yeah, buy one card though, it's not too bad. You got very lucky, that fucking Leroy. Dickhead. And that's when it's a good time to do it. Oh, is that the Flurgo guy? Oh, he's gone. Nice. So at least all his Murlocs have gone back into the tavern pool. So it's me and Mr. Pyramid. 
He pretty much still hasn't lost any health since. So I'm guessing he must have scaled now and got a pretty strong board. Why did he have a demon in his field? Google, yes. So if we get one more Begurgle, he's golden. If we get one more Honcho, he's golden. If we get one more Swamp Striker, he's golden. And then we can maybe find you a guy. Dragon's quite big. <laughs> fucking hell, stop with that fucking multi flame crap. Oh, he wins by one card again, are you shitting me? Look at his bitch alive. First the mech and then the fucking dragon. Fucking hell. Not losing to these shitters. Well, not the mech and the fucking Yuzura. Gurgle. A golden begurgle. I could play another one for stats. There's one more there for stats. 
I can beat the other Murloc player, that is, though. I'm guessing his is going to be a bit more healthy than mine now, which is going to be a problem. His tier 4, so hopefully he hasn't got an SISF in, but then again, he could have found one for a Tad or a Primal thing. Oh yeah, he's got something and a brand. Fucking hell, he's got everything. Yeah, I can't win this. He's got two poison cards. Fucking hell. So he's had all the luck. How the hell has he got a brand? He's not even tier five. Oh, he might have golden that got a brand. Fucking hell. He got real fucking lucky then. Way luckier than me. I'm in top four though. What I wanted is achieved. A young Burkheim, the first one. Fucking lucky. I need it after what fucking lucky the seas fucking had. That jelly bastard. That's good. Ooh. Then again, no, because if I get him golden, then I can do it two cards anyway. Yeah, I don't want to waste it. We'll freeze that though, because I can get the cold lights here. <laughs> if I do get a brand, what the fuck am I going to do here? Might be too late for a brand though, I suppose, maybe. Because I'd have to get rid of two cards on the end. <laughs> this guy's still got a lot of fucking health. Am I the only one that's beat this guy? I'm the only one that's done any damage to him. I think I've got problems, I'm going to struggle against that guy. He's fucking poisoning his entire field like a fucking dickhead. And the pussy she was poisoned. I think I might just not go with the brand this time, actually. Because these are all pretty beefy. And brand's weak as shit is not going to help that much now. Not with the last three. So if I see a brand, I'll just ignore it. I just need to golden these if I can. And then I can switch locations with those two so he can benefit from the, the Merc, I think.
I might give him a better buff this turn, since we're against a dead player. Although obviously it does make, I suppose, Brander's double or triple that if you can get him, which does make it more worthwhile. But it would mean getting rid of like him, really. So he's the poison guy that killed this. Stop hitting the big one, hit the other ones. We lost to a dead player. Pyramid died. Four seconds. No. I'm glad he lost it to be fair actually, because I'd have struggled more against that. I don't play with bullshit poison. Fucking three brands can go straight to a golden brand. If only I've got to get rid of him though. Fuck. Ugh. I don't know if it's worth it. I really don't. I'll see. I mean, I might die anyway. I might die in this encounter. If you beat the pyramid guy, I'd say the pyramid guy probably stronger than me. Well, three brands on the field in one go, it's like, can I pass up the opportunity? Can I? And even then it gives me a chance of getting another young Murkow, which gives me a gold one of them. Or I could just put Bram on the field and then just not buy him a buff guard, so what the hell? It looks weaker than before. Oh, that's why, because I had to trigger that thing. How's he got three golden? He's got all golden elite, that fucking... Is it Eliza? Yeah, it is Eliza, yeah. How is it that other Milbok player lost to you? I don't know what that is. I'm completely honest.
in Malibu, I think I might just keep the brand there and just play off the battle cry of that because I'm getting, what am I getting, 12, 12? Yeah, I'm getting loads. And I'm already beating him, so. All I need is all the fucking Mercury copy. Give it a battle first. Yeah, I was just trying to think about it, about like, obviously cards costing like three gold, and how... Oh, it wins. Oh, and it does win as well, it beats me. <laughs> it finally won one. It must have got better trades. Salute to you, sir. Well played with the pirates there. I can't believe we got three gold in the visas. Jesus Christ. But I got a nice chunky 74 rating. Very good. I was just trying to weigh it up with the. Uh, I'm getting. Because of Bran and Murkai triggering a Golden Begurgle's Battle Cry, I'm getting plus 12, plus 12 on all my Murlocs. So they're getting 12 attack and 12 health every turn. To buy three cards to put in there for Bran to trigger. That'd cost at least nine gold. Obviously, you're going to be selling two of them. So you're going to get two gold back. But it might not be worth it. Especially not when you've got stats that high. Because you have to get rid of quite a stat heavy card. And that were a stat war, is what that were. Oof. Right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you're new around here or one of the 60% of my viewers who aren't subscribed, please subscribe. It takes all two seconds. Help support me as a content creator. Helps grow the channel. And I'm trying to aim for a thousand subscribers. If you can help me get there, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and have a great day.